come back in. Oh. And I'm I'm standing I'm sitting in there because I just said no, just kind of like, just in case I don't hear you, just tap on the box when someone's coming. So I'll know when I'll, I'll stop stop moving and be quiet sort of thing. Because you know, I'm sitting there, it's like, it's like oh wow, I can get Wi-Fi in here, you know. <laughs> And and then, and then all, then all he sees is a is a hand with a phone come up out of the box, like kind of like looking around, like moving around, like looking for signals. <laughs> and then you know I pull my, I pull my head back in, and then uh, like shh, no, uh, someone coming, so they're like like hey Teresa, come here. I'm like what? Because you gotta you gotta see these new chairs we got for the for the lounge. She's like oh really? She goes to open it, and of course I couldn't jump out because I was sitting down cross legged. Right. So I just shot my uh, when she opened it up, I just shot my arm. I was like ah, and yeah. she went pale terror in her eyes was just unbelievable like oh, that's so cruel. oh I, I wish i had a camera because i've never seen a look of terror like that like she went pale pale white <laughs> then, then then of course the name calling falls <laughs> so yeah. but it's <laughs> quite shocking though isn't it, it? It, was, it was actually really funny and i wish we could have pulled the tapes on that but obviously we're not yeah, allowed to nice. we're, we're, not, we're not allowed to obviously but it would have been funny to be good so but yeah, so that 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 helped kind of pass the last. Yeah, <laughs> very very productive. <laughs> oh well, cool. So Same. um yeah uh there's so I got other stuff coming up too um well not coming up but uh the new uh Crash uh, Land EP is out called Dream Waves. Okay. And it's really good. And last week we debuted uh the the newest well it's it's a title track to the EP Dream Waves off their new EP on uh, New Music Saturday this past Saturday. And it's a great song, and they've been around for a while. And I did interview them. It's been over three, almost three years ago now. But they've been working on music on and off, so like a couple singles here, that sort of thing. And now there's this EP, and the song's called Dream Waves. This is Crash Island, Crash Island, like this. <laughs>
Crash Island with Dreamwaves, and that's off their new EP, Dreamwaves. Uh, I like the song. I mean, I, like I played it for the first time on uh, this past Saturday on Music Saturday, and they have like that <clears throat> kind of cool island feel, uh, feel for lack of better words. But uh, great vocals. Uh, kind of sound a little bit like Coldplay, like newer Coldplay. Yeah. I mean, I I, travel, I mean, I, I didn't get a chance to listen to all of their um, sort of tracks, but. I felt they had. They've also got a little bit of a an '80s feel about them, but you can you can definitely feel uh, the strong and dynamic vocals. I mean, he's he's really good, isn't he? As a frontman, yeah. um, and I thought you know the song was you know well the ones I've heard from the album are really well structured, right? And then, you know I can, you know you can tell the commercial vibe as well. So they're well produced and yeah, really interesting. And it's it, they're new to me, so that's always good. Uh, it's nice to hear sort of new stuff. So, and as you say, if they've been around for a while, you know, oh, yes. it's, it's always good, you know. And I'm always looking for sort of new stuff to play on my Freedom FM show to kind of, I like to play around with different genres. So, you know, it's something for me to bear in mind for that as well, which is great. Right Thank on. You. No problem. So, uh, <laughs> I know you had a few things, right? Sorry, what's that? So I know you had a few things uh, you want to talk about. I thought still. Well, I was I was going to just talk to you really. I was uh, about what you feel. Uh, about... No, 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 a bit, a bit, a bit. <laughs> <laughs> so cheeky. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> um, I was going to say, um, just thinking of films in general. What do you feel about um, kind of when they do one, two, and three? Do you feel? You know, it kind of loses its steam, or do you feel? You know, because obviously you've got things like the Lord of the Rings, which actually you're talking about. You know, sort of movies being less than two hours. I mean, that was full on. You know, three hours. But I still wanted more. I don't know how you feel because you probably maybe they're not your kind of thing. But I found when I was watching them in the cinema, I wanted it to carry on, and yet I'd sat there for like three hours watching this film. But that's you know, and you you needed them to be broken up obviously but you needed the the kind of trilogy or whatever it was but some movies don't they kind of get to a stage where you think well god not more of this do you think yeah because i mean but things it all depends on what the movie is you know i mean there there's a lot of good movies that have sequels and there's a lot of movies that don't because they they play the joke the joke out way too much and there's not enough new jokes because i mean people want a little bit of the old but not a whole lot you know they want a lot of new jokes like a little kind of touch on the last movie, you know, yeah, it's funny, but keep on doing that, then you, you, you've just made like a, like a, almost like a flashback movie, so it's kind of defeats the purpose, right? Well, like, what springs to mind for that is Police Academy, do you remember? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing because it, it was funny, but I think by, was it number six or something, you can't yeah, get it because, by, seriously. Yeah. They they actually did a seventh one. Uh, did they really? <laughs> yeah, because it was called the thing was called uh, like Destination Moscow. Oh right, okay. So there's only like maybe two of them left, you know. But yeah, because yeah, fifth was uh, assignment Miami Beach. Oh right. And I, I think I think I did lose hope after the fourth one probably because yeah. it was still that it was it was either the the little lady wasn't it doing the big voice yeah or the other guy where he growled you know the one who he spoke, oh, I don't know, you know, the funny looking one who spoke. Oh, him. oh, yeah, uh, Bobcat like, Goldthwait. It's yeah. the same kind of, it's like, well, we know that, that they do that. How can you pretend we don't know and <laughs> stick it in again? But they did. Yeah, it's the um, good old Bobcat Goldthwait, Zed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but, I mean, things like Raiders of the Lost Ark, for me, but again, you see, I'm getting back to Han Solo again, aren't I? Yeah. So, oh, George Harrison. <laughs> eh, yes, but, you know, Harrison Ford can... It didn't matter to me because I just wanted to see yeah. him, I suppose. <laughs> I, I don't know how anybody else felt about that, maybe by the stage. Sean Connery is in it. Was it too much? Maybe, I don't know. You know, I, I liked them all. I really did. And I'm probably one of the few people who liked uh, the last one with uh, Shia LaBeouf. Oh, okay. I guess yeah, so. yeah. I was like, I came in something Crystal Skull, like Indiana Jones, Indiana yeah. Jones and the Crystal Skull, yeah. So I thought it was good. I mean, I liked it, but a lot of people didn't. Right. Oh, I didn't like the alien aspect. I don't know. He's an archaeologist. He's going to uncover this stuff. Like, would you say that if you found ghosts, like in the Egyptian pyramids? Like, 
Oh, I think yeah, but when people start thinking too in depth about movies, then you just forget it really because it's supposed to be entertainment, isn't it? At the end of the day, and a lot of it is going to be a bit far fetched. Oh, you know, I mean, let's face it. It's be before I forget. <laughs> speaking of sequels, there's one being made right now, and I'm very excited. It's probably be out in 2017, but they're 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 doing uh, a second Spaceballs. Oh, are they? And uh, because Mel Gibson was saying, he's like, well, no, Star Wars came back out with this movie, and you no, know, so everybody's doing doing these uh, these uh, reboots sort of thing. Goes well, you know, maybe we should. It goes because in the first one, when they were showing off the merchandise, it's like, oh, it's baseball's merchandise, uh, the cereal box, the flamethrower. The kids love this one, you know. And then, <laughs> and then he says, like, he's like, no, goodbye, Lone Star. Maybe we'll see each other uh, in the future in the next movie. Spaceballs 2, The Search for More Money. That's what's going to be called, The Search for More Money. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I, I mean, it was a long while ago, so I'd, I'd have to re-look at it oh. again. Um, I, I've seen that movie, yeah. I don't know how many times. Like, even if I haven't seen it in like two years, I can still tell you everything line by line. <laughs> like, like that. Oh, it's fine. I mean, it was such a funny movie. Like, what, it's, again, it's like slaps the guy's best. You know, it's, it's like, like, unfortunately, John Candy's not around anymore. I mean, there's Dick Van Patten or... Uh, Joan Rivers. So those three characters are they're gone. Oh, okay. they're, they're gone completely. Mel Brooks said he goes no way. He goes because no one can capture the magic. They did. Those characters are are, are going to be out of the script. Yeah. And if they are, if they are, they're they'll they'll say they'll well, they're like over here doing whatever, right? If they bring them in, but they're not going to actually bring the characters in. So. Oh, okay. But that's so that's 2017. Yeah. You say. All right. Cool. Well, that's quite. It's quite good though with Star Wars coming back isn't it so well, yeah. uh, well it's one of the reasons right I think it's a good idea so, so there you go. Um, I'm trying to think there's anything else I thought there was one more thing that I'm... must not be that important if I can't remember what it is but <laughs> <laughs> well, why don't we play um, another track and then sure. we can you'll probably spring to mind won't it well, maybe that or I'll, I'll, that or I'll, I'll remember four hours later and send you a message saying <laughs> this is what it was I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, with that one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so we're gonna we're gonna do Gabe Brooks. Yep. Yeah. And this you, you can you can line it up then. Well, this is a uh, bag of bones, and I have played it before on New Music Saturday like a while ago. But it's a fantastic song. It's like really like kind of kind of dark, but like. The, the vocals are so kind of low and gruff. Like, like I know I'm saying like a lot. <laughs> um, it's he's He sings a lot like uh, uh, like Bob Dylan. Yeah. Like, it just a little bit with a little bit more tune, you know? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, here we go with Gabriel Brox, and this is Bag of Bones. Dig this. <laughs>